Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day just like me. And today we are going to be continuing with the series of how to make a Discord bot. If you have not seen episode 1, please do right now. The card for the video will be in the top right. Um, so yeah, so let's just go ahead and get right on into episode 2. So in episode 2, we're going to be learning how to send embeds. So how do what are embeds? Well, I can show you an example on Discord. Embeds are basically those things that uh, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I'll go ahead and show you uh, an example of an embed. Uh, come on, Discord. There we go. So this is an example of an embed. Like you know how sometimes bots send stuff like these. Yeah. So we're going to be learning how to make those and all about it. So let's go ahead and just get right on into it so what we're gonna do is we are going to delete this line on the if statement for the test command so let's just go ahead and we're gonna make a variable called embed builder so how we're gonna do that we're gonna do embed builder space embed and then equals embed or wait uh new embed builder and then parentheses and then we'll go and put a that uh, semicolon so let's do control shift o to import embed builder now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in a title to our embed so what we do is we do embed dot set title and then uh, so this is going to be the uh, title so I'm going to name this title because this is just a test embed which I'm replacing the test command with so yeah um, <clears throat> so this is what the title is going to be it's basically just going to have the titles that but say you want to set a link for your title uh, what you can do is you can do comma and then inside another string value it will be the URL for when they click on the title. So actually I'm gonna name the I'm gonna name this embed title. So yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and make a description for it. Um, just so you know, you don't have to do everything, but I do recommend setting a title. Um, you don't have to set a description. It's obviously up to you, but yeah. So let's go ahead and set a description. Uh, we're gonna do embed dot set description and then uh, you cannot post links in here this is just a um, yeah this is basically just like a word like the description of the embed so yeah so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna name this or uh, I'm gonna make it this is the embed description so now let's just go and put a semicolon after this. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a section to our embed. So what sections are is they look like this. Uh, they have this as a bold title and then the um, thing for the uh, section. So we're gonna do embed dot add, oh, add field, I'm sorry. Um, and then we're gonna put a title for it. So what I'm just going to name the title embed field one and then comma another string and this is going to be uh, like the kind of like the description of the section or whatever like what's the contents of this uh, section or field. Uh, so I'm going to say this is the content of field one and then we're going to put a semicolon after this uh, oop, uh we got a red one. Oh, oh yeah so i forgot to mention uh we also have to add one that's in line uh just go ahead and make that false uh so yeah there we go so Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add in another field, and this is just going to be uh, our second embed field. So let's just go and copy this right here. 
Uh, and then you don't, and also just so you know, you don't have to copy everything I do. I'm just showing you like the basics of embeds or like everything on embeds. So uh, I'm going to name it embed field two, and this is the content of embed, uh, embed field two. Next, we're going to add in one, uh, one more thing. And what that thing is, is where is it? Uh, it was a set something, uh, set footer. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, we're going to set the footer um, as like, so what the footer is, is this right here, like how it says that. And then usually what's on the footer is like who the bot was created by. Um, so yeah. I'm going to name, I'm going to say bot created by DJ Skyward. So basically what that is, is that's just saying like the bot was created by me. You can basically do that whatever you want. Like you can, like if there's a specific person that's doing the embeds for your bot, you can say embeds created by, and then that person's discord username or whatever. So um yeah oh and also if you want to put in a ping what you can do is you can go to their username uh you can right click click on copy I oh wait no oops i accidentally did a wrong of the copy id uh i'm just gonna go and send a test message in here i'm just gonna say hi just so i can get my username we're gonna right click and we're gonna say copy id now how you get um how you have that option you want to enable developer tools on uh this so go to advanced and then turn on developer mode that just lets you copy ids and have a little bit more access to discord so i'm gonna go ahead and make it to where it pings me and how do we and it's not just how you ping like on regular discord where you do at and then their username or whatever no how we do that is we put in uh like a gator mouth i guess you could say and then at exclamation mark and then we go ahead and put in their user ID that we copied and then an ending gator mouth just like that. So, and also you don't even have to put in the DJ Skyward. So this will say bot created by, and then even if they updated their Discord username, then they can also, uh, then it'll also put in like, it'll update their username as well and you don't have to update the bot. And um, as well, it will also let them message the person who create the embeds instead of them having to find their discord and everything so yeah uh and there's also an option to where you can add in an icon uh i don't remember what it was so let me just go ahead and see this uh it was what's it okay so it was after the string text so what you want to do is you want to enter in the url for the person's icon but if they're in the server like say you're the server owner and you created the bot and you just want to put your own uh, icon. Well, what you can do is you can do comma, and then, uh, and also like if the person who created the embeds is also in the server, you can do this as well. But if not, you can easily just right click. Uh, so here, I'll actually go ahead and do this. So you, you can just right click uh, right here and uh, go to profile. Oh wait, no, that's for uh, the, uh, what is it called? Google version of Discord. Like I'll, I'll show you. So I'm gonna go and pull up Discord on my browser. Let's go open Discord and browser. So yeah, in order to get their um, link for their profile image, like if they're like not in the server or whatever, then you have to go into uh, like uh, whatever. Wait, no, I'm wrong. Never mind, never mind. Okay, well, I I'm just gonna show you the easy way. So, you can also, or wait, no. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like losing my thoughts for some reason. But let's just go ahead and uh, we can put in the server owner uh, thing right here. So what we'll do is we will do event dot uh, get guild dot get uh get it was either get owner or get owner ID. I believe it was get owner, but I don't think that's an option anymore because 
okay so yeah it's it's still an, it's still an option so yeah it dot get owner dot get user dot get avatar url so this gets the um the owner of the server like their avatar and it puts it in but if you don't want to do that then uh you'll some then you will have to somehow get your link to your discord uh avatar i don't know how but if you do manage to do that basically instead of just putting this in uh you just put in a string value like this and then you put the image in there but right now we're just going to go ahead and do this so yeah um so yeah that is about it for the embed so now how do we actually send the message for it well what we can easily do is we can do our send message command but uh instead of putting a string value i'll have to show you what to put so what we're going to do is we're going to do events dot get channel dot send message and then uh embed dot build so this builds up the so this like builds the embed i guess you could say and then it sends it and then dot q so it actually does send the message and then boom so now once you do that, what you want to do is to this one last line is you want to do embed dot clear. So this, uh, this clears the embed. Uh, so like the embed build here, and it's very important because if not, then your embed could glitch out and add in more things and stuff like it's, uh, it's an entire thing. So yeah. Um, and also, as you know, if you want just to, if you just want to reply to someone and say, get channel, you can do get a uh, message and it says send message just do reply and then it'll uh, reply to that but I'm just gonna do it to where it just sends the message or uh, yeah just sends a message not actually replying so let's just go ahead and do our test command but first before we do that we gotta make sure to run the bot now let's go ahead and wait for it. Login successful, finished loading. So now that we have this, we, we see that our bot is online and it's watching our test command. And then we'll do exclamation mark test. And then as you can see, uh, we have the title here, the description, the embed fields, and, uh, oh, I guess that didn't work. Uh, dang it, I guess Discord removed it, but don't worry, it's okay. Now what we can do is, uh, yeah, that's about it. But say you wanna add in a color because as you know that sometimes there's colors here. Well, what you can do is, let's just go ahead and add it right after here, like right after the add field. We'll do embed dot set color. So uh, this will set the color of the embed. Uh, hold up, I gotta read something on here real quick. Okay, so I believe we can do color dot, yeah, yeah. So we do color dot, and then you can choose from either one of these colors. Now, if you want a specific color, then what you can do is you can somehow get your, uh, get like the RGB value or your, or the, uh, uh, whatever it is, the hex value but we're just going to be doing the simple uh, color thing so i'm gonna make mine green so yeah that'll make it green now let's go ahead and terminate our bot so it will stop running and then run our bots again we'll click okay and wait for it login successful successful all right now we'll do our uh, test command again and as you can see it has a green color right here so yeah, that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So yeah, come on guys, let's try and do this. Uh, 1,000 subscribers, not 500, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, uh, that'll be it. Peace.